There is a pattern of Republicans getting us into economic messes and Democratic presidents having to come in and clean them up. You know, when my husband became president, thanks to a lot of you in this room, I remember after that election in 92, him saying to me, it's so much worse than they told us. The debt of our country had been quadrupled in the prior 12 years. The deficits had exploded. And so he had to roll up his sleeves and work hard. And at the end of eight years, we had 23 million new jobs. Incomes were rising at the top, the middle, working folks, poor people. And we ended up with a balanced budget and a surplus. And then we got another Republican president. And boy, did he leave a mess to President Obama. We were on the brink of a great depression, not just a recession. We were losing 800,000 jobs a month. Now, I know these are inconvenient facts for your Republican friends and neighbors, but the truth is, President Obama doesn't get the credit he deserves for saving the American economy from falling into a Great Depression.